This is a time where technology advancements allow us to engineer combinations that we would have not deemed possible just a few years ago. Since OpenAI has made its way to every user, we have seen generated images spark a new creativity, or category of creativity, actually. The Danish energy provider, Andel, has created a very successful campaign, showcasing this new thinking by combining old paintings with modern solutions like wind farms to showcase how the new Danish idyllic landscape will actually look like. Despite all that we have seen being, becoming possible in the last years, we still have strongly established and sometimes very stubborn ideas of changes and what goes well together. However, we are quite creative when it goes about commenting on these ideas and approaches, responding in a cynical way to demean these approaches. Good luck with that. What if the most exciting innovation stems actually from exactly that space? To combine something that is unusual. I will talk about this in just a few minutes, but when it comes to change, let's think about why we are built this way. When steam trains got introduced to the broad public over 200 years ago, People were worried that the speed of these solutions would make the passengers sick, become unconscious because of the vibrations on the tracks. Even criminality would rise, because now you can flee the scene of crime so much faster. It's important to say that back then, high speed of these solutions was 48 kilometers per hour. High speed is something else today. We have to think that back these fears, why we laugh about them now, those were rooted in this genuine uncertainty of, this, of the bandwidth of this technology in an area that faced rapid change, just like today. With change comes uncertainty. In consequence, fear and anxiety. We as humans, we prefer familiarity, predictability, because that gives us a sense of security. When faced with unfamiliar situations and ideas, we naturally resist to avoid the uncomfortableness, or the discomfort of this uncertainty, led by the fear of the unknown. Research in decision-making psychology has shown that we prefer to maintain the status quo. We do not want to disrupt our established routines. We do not want to change our habits, even if there is a benefit or a potential better effort coming from that change. We call this status quo bias, and it reflects this tendency to, again, stay with familiar patterns, and also why it would be not a great idea to start pouring water out of a paper bottle. But what if that works? And what if that it's actually a great idea? The idea of a paper bottle is not something new, but it's relevant now more than ever. What started as a very ambitious vision over 10 years ago from a small startup in Copenhagen has developed into a reality for a new generation of packaging. I spoke about bringing something together that doesn't immediately fit together in our current picture of the world. So why would paper and liquids be a good idea? Key note here is paper straws. Remember, the most exciting innovations come from the most unlikely or even crazy ideas and approaches. The packaging industry has a few flaws to solve, be it the sourcing of our resources, production processes, and energy consumption, distribution, recollection, basically the packaging's end of life. While we still need 
continuously, more packaging, we have not solved these core issues. An often helpful approach is to go back to the foundational questions. What do we have and what do we need to solve these issues? Well, what is it that we have? Working with fibers is not something new. We know a lot in the industry about the amazing properties like strength and lightness of this renewable resource. And what is it that we need? In a nutshell, everything that we have today, but without exploiting our planet to get it. I already mentioned change faces a headwind of resistance. As an ambitious but small bunch of people, we will not get far, questioning the established routines and systems on a relevant scale. However, we know that if we can change packaging, the impact will be significant. So we went out there to get with the vision of turning this David into a Goliath. We went out there and went big uh, and searched for big partners to join us that brought big brands to join us as well. This was an all-in journey. We did not want to whitewash something or go with partners that put a green sticker on the solution and call it, that's better for our planet. No. This is a journey to make an actual good solution. What is the job of packaging? That's easy. It's to keep our product safe and ideal in a form factor that comes with logistical benefits. And strength, lightness. Which brings us back to fibers. As I said, they're great at all that. We know that. And if treated pr uh, correctly, they can be sturdy and strong while being light, looking and feeling amazing. Fibers are also part of the most efficient recycling scheme that we already have in the industry. Paper and paper packaging. An industry that is not only established well in Europe, but also in other parts of the world. So, designing something for, that ultimately goes into that stream seems like the perfect idea. The end game is to deliver a fully sustainable alternative for the market. LCA studies conducted with external agencies prove our vision right because they already show that we are either on par or even outperform certain alternatives that are on the market established. And that's only the beginning. And other results from the market have also proven our vision right. When we got our products through the production process into the hands of consumers, they understood the message and the vision, and they loved it. Change is happening. I believe when your guiding principle is to do something better. Not for the sake of being different, but for the sake of actually making a good solution, it does not matter how small you start. You can challenge the status quo. A big success factor on our journey was to turn ex experience into data. Because if you can measure things, you can change things. That's also why your smartwatch fitness ring works. Because you, now you know and now your activity actually increases. Because you measure things. So by measuring our recyclability rate of the product or doing life cycle assessments that deliver hard facts, those can be stronger than opinion. Is it easy? No, of course not. Nothing's easy. There are so many influences and boundaries that are put in our way. But the fact is, we are facing sustainability challenges that require rapid innovation and new approaches to mitigate the radical degradation of our environment and that address climate change. To make this more than a woke and tree-hugging endeavor, but actually new normal, we will have to be open to new approaches and ideas that might not come natural to us. We tried small changes. Small incremental changes did not work. So let's all try something new. 
Thank you.